So I started off with my foundation already done and my eyes primed, but I did leave out a little section of my forehead for the special effects that we're going to be doing in a little bit. So now we're going to go ahead and get started with the rest of the makeup. So I first took this taupe color and I ran it through my crease as well as underneath my eye to act as my transition shade. Next I took a matte black and I applied it messily all over my lids just because at this point it doesn't really matter how perfect it looks. During this process you want to remember to protect your foundation just because fallout could occur and this definitely happened to me and I didn't remove it properly, I was just kind of being stupid and trying to wipe it away but then this happened. This is going well. Mm. Let's take a moment to fix this. I'll be right back. Now it's all fixed and it's looking okay right now. We're looking a bit like Taylor Momsen, but that's okay. It's gonna get, it's gonna get better. Now that the universe was back in order, I went ahead and blended out the edges of the black as well as ran a little bit underneath my eye just to create a smoky effect. Along the way, I added some more black eyeshadow just because I felt like the black was not black enough. And then for the case of the lower lid, there just wasn't enough eyeshadow, period, so I wanted to add some more. And remember to blend that as well. Then I took a white eyeshadow and I applied that around the edges of the black just to further blend everything. Now I'm taking a black eyeliner and I'm going to be tight lighting my eyes to make them even darker. Then I took a white duo chrome eyeshadow and I used the blue side and I applied that to the inner corners of my eyes. After that I put on some falsies and mascara. Once those were on, I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows. I didn't do anything fancy, I just stuck to my natural shape. Then as usual, I went ahead and contoured my face. Taking that duo chrome from earlier, I'm going to be applying this as my highlight to create a nice blue glow. Then to finish off the beauty portion, I'm just going to be applying this blue lipstick. Since this lipstick is quite bright, I went ahead and toned it down a bit by blotting. Now taking this concealer pencil, I used this to generally mark out where I wanted the glass shards to go. For this I used Scar Wax, but I don't really recommend it, it's kind of just a pain in the ass to work with, so just be aware. And I started off by taking some spirit gum and applying that to where I wanted the glass shards to go, and I tapped my finger along it to make it nice and tacky, and then I put my little noodle of Scar Wax and I just started to blend it into my skin. You do want to be careful when doing this, like try every tip that you can find online because this stuff can get really sticky and very, very difficult to work with once it's too warm or whatever. So again, just proceed with caution. As you'll see here, the wax is sticking to my spatula, which makes this very difficult to apply and manipulate. So honestly, if you can find anything else to use, use it because this is just so frustrating. After all of my wounds were applied, I went ahead and used some liquid latex and applied that just all over the scar wax because I saw some people use this as a sealant. And then I went ahead and filled each wound with some liquid latex so that way I can stick the shards in and they would stay in place, generally speaking. Again, I would use something more like Prosade if I could do this again just because it was not the greatest to use it with latex. I mean, latex isn't actually all that bad, but I just think Prosade works better. It literally took me three tries and three different sizes of shards to get it to finally stick. 
Now it's time for everybody's favorite part, the blood. So I'm using this scab blood that I made at home and dyed blue because I thought blue blood would be interesting. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in the wounds that are around the glass shards so there is a better sense of depth. And then I'm going to go in with a thinner, runnier blood that I also made at home to make it nice and drippy and pretty fucking gory. Please be careful when applying this though because if it drips into your eye it could be a very uncomfortable experience and I don't want that for you. Like here I put it on my lid for some reason that is not okay because it just was like a gateway for more drips to get near my eye and I don't want that for you. So just apply it safely and where you see fit and as much as you want and make it nice and gory and gross but just please be careful. And so after that harrowing adventure, this is the final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more videos, then please hit subscribe. And until next time, bye bye I like this tear thing, even though I actually came from real tears.